Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Reviews. So I'm absolutely freezing guys, so if you're wondering why I'm double like top on top, it's because I'm cold. So I've got two jumpers on. Ow, not my finger. Right guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Nightmare Before Christmas haul and they're from different places guys so i'm not just going to base it on one place because these have come from multiple different places so i'm just going to base it on a nightmare before christmas haul i do have one item that is still not arrived and i'm a little bit miffed about it what i'll do is i'll stick a picture on of what that item is if it does arrive before i've edited this video i will just put a little add-on at the end showing you what i got and just quickly talking about it and that will be that it is actually a mug and a coaster in a tin so we'll see let's get on with what i've got for now guys first thing i'm going to grab is just a sainsbury's item that i grabbed and it was very inexpensive and i've got a pair of my things up to it i'm gone right so it was this bag guys and it was from sainsbury's and it's a tim burton's um shopping bag with zero on it and then it comes with the official tag and everything it just says the Tim Burton Nightmare Before Christmas um, shopping bag and it's just the same print on the opposite side it's um it's one that I probably won't use to be honest with you guys I've got plenty of totes bags to use I'll probably just put this away on my on my bed or something or on my wall or just pin it to the wall I just think it's really really cute Sainsbury's they did have a lot of them left so they did have like they were supposed to have like the Jack Skeleton um stacker things in there but there were nothing in that time I got in guys so I managed to grab that of all things moving on um I've got two items here which I'm super ex super excited about um I spotted this and I was like, oh, do I, don't I, do I, don't I. It wasn't cheap, guys, but I thought, do you know what? The last one that I got, I paid £25. It was Nemesis, so I thought I'm going to grab it. So it's come in a box. It's from the Disney Showcase Collections. Um, they have a thing called Bradford Exchange that does all Nightmare Before Christmas items. And they also have... Um, Another one where I got this one from, which is from Jim Shaw. I bought the pumpkin from Jim Shaw. I bought um, the owl and the pumpkin from Jim Shaw. I've never noticed Jim Shaw before, but he does do a lot of Nightmare Before Christmas. And I absolutely loved, loved these items that I had. So I found this one online and I thought, I'm just going to grab it. So let's just get stuck in and take out this box. I will keep the box, guys, because this is an ornamental piece. It's going to go in my glass cabinet. Um, anything like that, I tend to keep the boxes for because they're collectibles. I am a bit of a hoarder when it comes to collectibles. I normally collect um, Anne Stokes and Nemesis. I do still collect them. I just haven't collected them since I started my YouTube channel because I've never any money left to buy them. So it's coming polystyrene, it's well wrapped up guys, which I'm glad about. So this is £35, I will link it in the description box below guys, so you can go and um, grab one if you want one. And it was well packaged, that's for sure guys. This this didn't take that long to come, I think it took six days and all to come. It comes in plastic as well, so we're just taking out the plastic. Oh wow, it smells cute. With this stuff, guys, make sure you dispose of it because of children. I don't need to tell you, you should know by now, but I, I need to do that because of sack. So, I bought this Nightmare Before Christmas chalice, whatever you want to call it. I've got one of these in my cabinet from Nemesis and it's all gothic, but I spotted this and I went, oh, i got to have that. So, it's got zero and it's got the, um, I forgot what it's called now. What's that on his eye? Some of it looks a little bit like rushed. And then it's got Oogie Boogie though, which, you know, it's, it's pretty all right. There's, I can't see, oh yeah. So here's Jack and Sally here. Um, it's got the main characters on there, guys. It's very, very heavy. I will say it's very heavy and it is actually stainless steel inside. I don't know if anybody would actually use this as a drinking cup or wine cup. I won't, guys. It has the official Disney Nightmare Before Christmas Nightmare Before Christmas chalice on there. 
and it's all got like cobwebs on the stem here and then they've got this purple amethyst gem going round which is very very pretty and it's all in like a black detail this is like is it what they call it embossed it's it's not smooth guys it's quite like they they protrude out but i think the detail in that is absolutely amazing and it is super heavy guys i mean really really heavy so that's going to go in my cabinet because i'm going to start collecting nightmare before christmas statues um in 2021 that is my aim i'm going to give fairies a rest for a change now and just concentrate on um jack skeleton there's only one um and soaps that I want to grab and I'm getting that for Christmas so I will feature that after Christmas the next item is in this huge box let me just check there's no picture on it so I'll spoil it it's in this huge box again it's the Disney showcase and um I couldn't resist guys I've been looking at it and I've been like do I don't I do I don't I. it wasn't the cheapest of items guys um I did use my honey code and I got some money off but this was um I think it's 65 pound and I think I got it for £60. Let me just try and get it out of the box, guys. I have not checked it or anything, so this will be the first time I have actually looked at it. I've just kept it in here for the past seven days and not looked at it. Woo! Right, so it comes in a nice big box, guys. Again, I'll keep the box for this. And then it comes in the polystyrene just to protect it. I'm glad that these things come in polystyrene because all my fairies did. And I like to keep the boxes for them, even though I can't find half the boxes for them at the minute. Oh my lord. So it's well packaged in that polystyrene. I will put that away. And then it's in the bag again. Um, obviously I will dispose of the bag. And there's little, little polystyrene in between the little figurines just to stop them from smashing together or snapping or breaking. Oh my god. It is cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay guys, so this is the gym show. And it's the it, it's been made and created by Jim Shaw, but this was on the the Disney tradition. So I couldn't resist, guys. It's sold out now on the Jim Shaw, um, so I can't link it in there. But if I do find it on any other websites, I will link it down below. You can go and check it out. But this is the size of it, guys. It has all the characters on, and it's really nicely made. So as you can see, Sally is in the front. I forgot what all the characters are called now. I just I just concentrate on the one which is Jack and Sally. And then you've got these three sat up here being naughty as ever. And then you've got the cat in the end of the car. This is all kind of carved. And I think this is wood, guys, because all Jim Shaw is made from wood. Let me just see if I can go to the bottom and it, it'll tell me. Right, so at the bottom it says Terror Triumphant. So this is a Disney, it says Disney. Disney showcase, not a toy for direct, decorative piece only. And then on the label it says Disney traditions combines the magic of Disney with the festive art history of Jim Shaw's Heartwood Creek creating a new collection. So it's a Heartwood Creek, that was it. So I've already grabbed two pieces from um, Jim Shaw. There's so much more I want from him. Um, I've, I think he's become like my new little addiction now. Um, and I probably will buy some more sets from Jim Shaw before I buy anywhere else But they do sell certain ones of these on the Bradford Exchange I have asked for Christmas for some Including the clock which Gothic Angela um, Angela Crafter has got So yeah, so that was that guys So it's £60 Retail around 65 to 70 Some retail at £80 So that's them two pieces guys so far that are just based on ornamental use and that bag moving on i did the um oh i i did order from bilderberg guys and i had a bit of a disaster i will try and quickly explain what happened to you people who don't know but in the midst of the disaster i decided to try and find an actual jack skeleton and i found this guy on ebay he was eight pound sixty i waited literally about four or five days he had 100 percent feedback so i was like because you know at first when you think oh is it a chinese seller and it's it's going to be crap and actually guys what is that oh no it's a bit wire i thought that was an i thought that was a pin then i was going to die so here is jack you can actually put him up i mean you don't like this you can cut it off i just put him up on the wall i would like to get the matching sally but i haven't found any up to now to match him in ex in the exact kind of shape but i will probably buy a sally at some point but here you are he's in his, his full attire 
Um, it's not brilliant, it's not perfect, but for £8.60, it, it'll do what it'll do. And it's a chat skeleton, what more do you want? So that was that, guys. And he's like all like suede feeling at the top of his head. It's not badly made, guys. Let's put it that way. I've seen some that have been really, really bad. Now, Builder Bear. Mm. I will tell you after, but I'm just going to show you what I grabbed from Builder Bear. So, first thing I grabbed was Jack himself. So, it's the Jack Bear, guys. I've kept everything on, and it's Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. Builder Bear Workshop has the, the clothing here. Now, when he came, he came without the clothing on. I put the clothing on him. He is literally just a white bear underneath. On his feet, he's got Jack Skeleton helm here printed on, and then he's got the Nightmare Before Christmas printed on, and then he's got the Builder Bear design on here. So he does play the actual song. It's the official song. Um, I'm not too sure what happens when that dies. I mean, I don't know if there's any batteries. He's got a tiny little tail, which I don't think the official one does, but he isn't official. But if you pin his ears back, he would actually look more like Jack, as you can see. But he's going to be he's a bear. So that's from Builder Bear. Guys, this was £41.50. I don't think he's worth his £41.50 price tag, to be completely honest. But he is nicely made. I mean, he, he does feel nice. But I had so much trouble with this that, you know, this caused me so much stress. It was unbelievable, guys. And I mean, those of you who are on my Facebook will have known the trouble that it gave me. But I didn't just get this, guys. I got that, which was £41.50. I actually then got two vouchers worth £20 for £10. So he actually came to £55.49, including postage. And I got a £20 two £10 vouchers to spend back in store. So with that, I did go ahead, I just, oh my God, oh my God, it is falling down. I did buy zero for little boys, for my little boy, Zach, because he absolutely loves the dog characters from Tim Burton films. He's got Frank and Weenie. Um, Coraline had a cat. I don't think he's over keen on the cat. But anything that's got a dog in it, I always end up buying it him, if I can buy it him. So I ended up picking up Zero for £18.50. He's bigger than I expected, and I do think Zero is worth the price tag of £18.50. Zach has pulled the tag off because he doesn't like tags. But as you can see, he's just got this little material that sits over the top. He's nice and soft. He feels nice and soft. He's quite big. He sits nicely on the cushion. His ears do flop back and forth if you need to. And he's got a little pumpkin on his nose like the real Zero actually does. Now, I know that you could buy these on Disney for £8.49, but they said they were beanbag size. So I don't know if they're just like the smaller hand size. I may still grab one of them to go with this kind of one. But whenever Zach is fed up with Zero, he does stick him on my sofa and I tend to just put him on there with Jack. But that was £18.50 and I thought, what else can I grab? So I did grab this little dude, which is on special offer. This was £8. I know Simply Spooky Kirsty has this. And um, I don't know if Luna Lily grabbed this. I mean, I have been speaking to Luna Lily about... She had the same issue with Oogie Boogie. And we were just talking about, you know, the crap that we had to deal with, basically. But I grabbed this for Zach. Um, he was reduced from eight to six pound. Or was he from six to four pound? I can't quite remember. We got him cheaper than the actual price. Nothing to go with it. It's just a little ghosty. Um, Zach likes him, but he puts him on my couch again. When Zach wants his teddies, he will just grab them and take them back into his room. And they're there for that purpose. As you can tell, he's not played with it yet because it's been in my bedroom. And then I spent an extra £12.50, guys. Because um, I had to pay postage again. And I grabbed him, which he was £6, guys. So I ended up grabbing this T-shirt, guys, not the bear. This was last year's bear that I got for Zach, which was the pumpkin bear. I got the bag with this last year, and I got the orange T-shirt, which is now on my dog upstairs. Um, it's been washed, actually. It's been washed and gone on my dog. I um, don't particularly think that Jack was... the pumpkin head was worth the price. Now, I paid £41.50 for this dude last year, um, and he was supposed to have... 
a lavender disc inside. It didn't really smell that much of lavender, I will admit. And then in the paw, batteries are running out, guys. But it was supposed to be the sound of toothless. Um, and only afterwards, Zach actually wanted toothless. And it was too late. I'd already put toothless in here. I will change the batteries. He opens up at the front here, guys, which may be the same for Jack Skeleton to change the batteries. He just opens up here. Um, and then this is the t-shirt I bought guys, which was £4.20 or something. It just says Hocus Pocus. Might be a bit girly for uh, Mr. Pumpkinhead. But um, yeah, so that was what I got guys. That is my Nightmare Before Christmas bundle. Actually a cup as well. I did buy three cups in total. The other two I've showed in a previous video. Um, and I got some film sales, which I've shown in a previous video. And I also got some other bits and pieces, which I've already shown in in a different video. So I am trying to grab as many Jack Skeleton stuff as I can possibly find. As you know, I have actually got a tattoo of Jack on my arm to be completed. Yes, I'm going to have all Tim Burton, well, some of Tim Burton's work done on my arm by my brother. Um, now, Bilderberg. Originally, it, they took the money, which was £68.20, and it was pending for five days in my bank. And on the fifth day, the pending stopped. The money went back into my account. So I contacted my bank, and they said they'd put the money back in. I contacted Bilderbear, and there was no answer. So I contacted the Birmingham store. They turned around and told me if they've cancelled it, or the money's gone back into account, it means that they are sold out. And they asked me which bear it was, and I told him and the Jack Skeleton one, he said they're all sold out everywhere so the chances are there's none left and they've refunded you but because I did the whole voucher thing they looked like they refunded all of the money which means zero was not to come either and Zach knew zero was coming they absolutely broke my little boy's heart and I mean broke it he cried he was really upset about it I got really upset because we got our hearts set on these these builder bears that were coming and then uh three days later guys I'd already went out and bought Zach some other things so I'd spent the money three days later and um, they sent me an email saying they'd been dispatched what the hell and then three days after that they took the money out of my bank, which put me in my, in, I didn't have an overdraft, put, they, I went overdrawn. I had to contact the bank, explain what happened. Everything got sorted in the end and I got the money in and that was that. But it's put me off Bilderberg now, a lot. Although I do like it when it's certain characters that's to do with the Halloween theme. If another ghostie came out, I probably would buy it. Or there was another... I didn't buy Sally. Oogie Boogie sold out super fast as Luna Lily tried to get her hands on it. She actually ordered it as well and had the same issue that I had. But obviously hers was completely sold out. Jack came back in stock and that's why I ended up getting him. All right, guys. I will link everything in the description box below. Comment below which is your favourite. Um, out of all of these, guys, my favourite would be this ornament that I've got. Yep, definitely. Jim Shaw for the win. <laughs> Alright guys, take care of yourself. Stay spooky and hope you've enjoyed Halloween this year. And I will see you guys on my next one. If I manage to put a little video at the end, it's because the cup came and I'll show you what it looked like. Alright, take care. Bye for now. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.